Wolverine returns in Hunt for Wolverine issue 1. Above Alberta, the Reavers head to a hidden and secluded cabin, hoping Donald Pierce's plan works. The team scan the area, seeing nothing but animals. As Donald's team is dropped, they wonder why the owner of the cabin was just left out in the wilderness. Entering the cabin, they find what they are looking for, the tomb of Wolverine. The Reavers look to steal the adamantium-covered body and sell it to the highest bidder. Donald reminds his team that this is their last ditch effort for money, as they have failed their last few missions, and are in need of desperate repairs. As they lift the solid adamantium statue, they hear someone coming. Radioing into their transport, they learn that something bad is coming for them. Outside, the X-Men attack the Reavers with everything they have, knowing collateral damage won't be an issue in the deserted forest. Years before, just after the death of Wolverine, Reed Richards looks over the body, saying he's sorry he couldn't help Logan reactivate his healing factor when the mutant came to him. Scott says it wasn't Reed's fault that he couldn't help Logan. After Reed leaves, Cyclops, Colossus, Storm, and Beast stay on, and Scott is upset that Logan died hating him and he wished he could have fixed that. Storm doesn't think leaving him in a statue isn't right, and thinks Logan deserves a traditional burial. Beast doesn't know how to get Logan's body out of the adamantium, however, since it is completely solid and impenetrable, but Colossus has an idea. In the present, the X-Men have the Reavers cornered in the cabin. Donald and Cy meanwhile try and remove the statue and order the others to keep the X-Men busy. The X-Men continue their attack on the group, so Donald calls in his transport, readying to leave with Logan's body as Sila is almost through the adamantium. The Reavers, however, find the statue is empty and Logan's body isn't inside. Kitty arrives and shuts down the two villains, who want to know where Wolverine is. In the past, Kitty uses her phasing powers to carefully extract Logan from the adamantium, wrapping his body in an X-Men flag. The team leaves and buries their dead friend close by. In the present, the X-Men finish up with the Reavers, calling in Alpha Flight, handing them over while Kitty goes inside the tomb and tells Colossus that they should leave the tomb standing, as it's still a memorial to Wolverine. Colossus notes that the memorial has done what all mutants do now, and has evolved, thanks to Sila ripping it open. Kitty goes to Logan's real grave, drinking Logan's favourite beer while telling him of the Reavers' attack. She toasts to him and tells Logan that she wished he'd been there. Seeing the flag they wrapped around him hanging from a nearby tree, Kitty listens to the grave, surprised to learn that it is completely empty. Elsewhere, a resurrected Logan kills a man before being told to stop by a shadowy individual. As the X-Men try to learn how the hell Logan is alive, Live, Logan flexes his claws in and out. In Stark Labs, Tony Stark is alerted to a break-in into his lab, finding the intruder to be Kitty. Kitty tells Tony that Wolverine's body is missing from his grave. Tony theorizes it could be any of the mad scientists within the mutant community that stole it, since his DNA would be worth a pretty penny. He wonders why Kitty came to him, and she reveals that Logan touched many people's lives, and they all need to be part of finding him, and that she didn't go to Tony first. Kitty reveals that she met Daredevil first, who also theorizes on who stole the body. Kitty says that Jamie Madrox is gone and the X-Men's investigative squad is low and they need someone to fill that gap, so Daredevil agrees to help, not wanting to miss out on a good mystery. Tony wonders who else knows about Logan, saying that the Reavers must know. Kitty confirms that the Reavers do know and that all the Reavers weren't arrested in Canada and one escaped. In Japan, the Reaver Starshine contacts Lady Deathstrike telling her about the situation with Logan. She wants to know if she can help rescue Donald and the others, but Deathstrike decides to go after Logan instead. Leaving Tony to recruit a few more members to their rescue team, Kitty heads back to Canada, telling the others she wishes to start the search in Madripoor, since Magneto is there and he might have wanted the body for something. Jean can't wait to leave, but Kitty says she needs to stay behind, since she has responsibilities on the blue team. Jean understands, saying that the older version of herself is Wolverine's Jean, and she isn't. As the team head off on their mission, Jean goes into the cabin, looking over the tomb and welcoming Logan back to life. Hunt for Wolverine issue 1 finally begun the event that sees the original Wolverine finally return from the grave after many years of being dead. This first chapter has piqued my interest in the story, but it really just offered up a lot of setup for uh, I think the four or five tie-ins that this series is going to actually have, and didn't really give us much in the way of how Logan is 
is back to life. We only got a couple of panels this issue showing him in a very Weapon X type of situation where he's seemingly being controlled by someone again. It's definitely very interesting and I'm really glad that Charles Soule is the one to tell this story since he originally killed off Wolverine and for him to be brought back to life by that same guy is really cool and I'm really interested to see the ideas Charles has for this character. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.